day everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is a tutorial on how to start knitting. Um, I have divided it up in four parts and this is part one where I will um, just quickly talk about the anatomy of stitches and show you how to do the cast on, the long tail cast on. So um, it's always very helpful to know the anatomy of your stitches so this piece of fabric that I have here is just knit stitches and when you turn the work you pull back to make stocking stitch fabric right so your knit stitches as you can see in this column down here all your knit stitches is these little V stitches. You have a right leg, it goes through there. You can see if you follow the loop, it's a loop like that. So you've got a right leg and a left leg. And they are connected with this little bars. And then your next row of columns, column of stitches is a right leg and a left leg. So we always work um, unless your pattern specifies differently but for normal knit stitches you always work with your right leg which is supposed to be when you when your stitches is mounted correctly your right leg of your stitch will be uh, facing you over the needle and that is where you will work into let me first show you how to do the long tail cast on and just a, a quick tip, if you have done the long tail cast on and you wonder which way of the fabric is the right side, when your tail end is on your right hand side, the piece of fabric facing you is the right side of the fabric. Okay, so let's quickly do the cast on. Another tip that I, what I like to do, and I wrap my yarn around both needles for the amount of stitches that I am going to make. So for this tutorial, let's make just 10 stitches. I'm going to take both needles, take the tail piece of my yarn, hold it with my thumb and wrap it 10 times. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I like to always take about five centimeters more and then I make my slip knot. So I take my yarn, I put it around my two fingers, crossing the yarn. I take my needle, put it underneath the first strand, and just grab the second strand off the fingers and pull it closed. And that is my slip knot. So, to do the long tail cast on, your working yarn, which is the yarn coming from your ball, should be at the back, and your tail end should be towards you. So to do the long tail cast on, we are going to take our left hand and we are going to grab both strands of yarn with these three fingers. We're going to take our index and finger and thumb and split the yarn. And we are going to bring this down almost like a slingshot type of idea. We're going to take our needle underneath the first strand. On the thumb, grab the yarn on your index finger, bring it through the loop, throw it off your thumb, take your thumb and pull that loop closed. So that the, the stitch, you will see if you pull on it, the stitch is formed with the yarn coming from the ball, your working yarn, and that is what you want. So let's just do that again. 
we grab both strands with our three fingers. Let me just go out a little bit. Right. So we grab all three, uh, both strands with our three fingers, split the yarn with our index finger and thumb, bring the needle down so that you can see the strands properly, go underneath the first strand on the thumb, grab the yarn on your index finger, pull it through the loop on the thumb, drop the loop off, and pull it tight. Now you don't want to pull it too tight, it must still be able to slide on your needle otherwise you are going to battle a lot um, when knitting into it so I'm going to show you that once more with an explanation and then I'm going to do the rest of the stitches and you can just watch so we grab both strands with our three fingers split the yarn with the index and thumb bring your needle down while twisting your hand around so that you can see Go underneath the first strand on the thumb, grab the yarn on the index finger, through the loop, drop it off, and pull it closed. So I'm going to show you now without explaining all the time, so that you can just follow along. Right, do we have 10 stitches? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 stitches. And see the method for wrapping the yarn have ensured us with enough tail to do the 10 stitches. Right, so this is how we do the long tail cast on. And if you would like, you can uh, click through to the second part of this tutorial where I will be showing you how to the knit stitch. If you have found this tutorial helpful please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It really helps the channel a lot and it ensures that you get a notification when I upload a new video. Thank you for watching. Happy crafting!